So y'all, here's a look at another part of my Transformers collection. If you saw the previous one, the Autobots, uh, you know that this is mainly my Chug collection. Classics, Hen K, Universe, Generation, Style stuff, modern updates of mostly classic characters, a few others. Um, I believe my Decepticons collection is actually smaller than my Autobots, uh, which is interesting because with a lot of other stuff I collect, where there's heroes and villains involved, I should have more bad guys. But then again, then I guess uh, I'm thinking sometimes because it's stuff like uh, Star Wars and G.I. Joe, where the bad guys have army builders and... I would usually, you know, I'm a bit of an army builder. Anyway, uh, interesting thing to point out, though, observation I literally made just right now, even though I've had a lot of these for a long time. When it comes to the Decepticons, the majority that I have are deluxe, so they're, they're mostly small. And Megatron back there, leader class, just towers over them, and I don't have many other um varying sizes of decepticons it's like they're all deluxe uh and then just megatron's the only one that's leader galvatron's the only one that's voyager and then a few legends which i actually have a collection of legends class ones but given that these uh you know are to be used with soundwave i consider them you know on the same scale of these uh, I really wish Shockwave was bigger. He should be Voyager. I actually personally wish this Megatron. I really like this Megatron, but I, I, I don't like how huge he is. He should have been Voyager, in my opinion. Anyway, so give you a look at these. Some pretty cool ones. I was really a big fan of the Seekers. I love Starscream, and I rarely use two versions of the same character in a in a collection, but I really love this Armada Starscream as well. So love those classic Seekers, and as far as Seekers go, I love um, love Starscream as a character. One of my favorite characters, but my favorite Seeker actually is Skywarp. I just love his his color combination, but. Anyway, let's go over to this side. This one I really liked. Uh, sometimes another thing that I do is I don't like multiple versions of a uh, mold. And I didn't really, I wasn't crazy about that mold as Mirage. But I love that that mold as Fracture. It just kind of already had a a feminine look to it. Although you know they've come a long way in the designs of these Transformers were. The, the fembots really have a very feminine uh, figure. Anyway, moving on. And this was another one. Yeah, it's mostly the same mold as Armada Starscream. But I just thought it looked really cool. So I wanted to add them to those guys. And I really like the... Um, oh, name escapes me now, but the um, in Beast Machines... The, uh, the Decepticons there, I forget what they're called, but yeah, so had to get that guy. I had I had a collection of the original ones, but you know I found those outdated and got rid of a lot of those a while back now. So anyway, there you have it. Those are my um, Chug Decepticons. Really cool stuff.